Well, good morning, Panthers. This is your principal, Tom Conley, and I'm here to bring you some um, good information and a great opportunity. And so, students, it's not often that I get a chance to talk to you this way. Usually, you either see me in person, uh, you see me in the hallway. Sometimes you see me places in Liberty, but today you're going to see me on your computer or on your teacher's computer screen. And so I wanted to take a minute just to share with you an opportunity. And so like right now, you're looking at your screen and you're seeing a, a young man. Um, some of you might recognize him. Um, his name is Reed Williams and Reed Williams is a very special guy. I've got some information here that I wanted to share with you about Reed. He's a senior at Liberty High School, and uh, you might recognize him a little bit better if you see him this way. Reed is also a Spider-Man to us. He may have opened a car door and uh, helped unload you from a car one morning. Um, he's on our high school football team, and he has visited us several times. He's at our back-to-school bash. I'll share another picture with you here. Uh, maybe you recognize him here. Here's Reed um, at our Back to School Bash, and he has come several times to different functions, both here at St. Jacinto Elementary School and at Liberty Elementary School. And there's a reason why I'm talking to you today about Reed. Um, not only is Reed a big panther, a, a special guy that helps us out from the high school, um, Reed is a great student athlete. We go and we see him on the football field. He's also a very uh, a smart student. He's uh, going to go to college. As you saw in that first picture, he's been accepted to Texas A&M. And so he's just, he's a great role model. And, and I hope that you as a student, that when you see Reed uh, coming to our campus this year, um, as you see his accomplishments, that it inspires you and that it also uh, he, he's just a great role model, somebody that you could look up to. And so I, I don't know Reed very, very well other than these experiences that we have, but that's why I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I know about Reed. He's a good kid, and uh, as a big panther, a lot of times he comes to help the little panthers here at St. Jacinto Elementary School. I know you guys uh, here at St. Jacinto School, um, you are growing up and you're going to be a, a big uh, panther just like Reed one day. And uh, so in this situation, we thought about this and we prayed about this as a school. And we've decided that we want to help Reed out because Reed has recently, um, he's received some, some news that um, none of us would want to uh, hear. Um, Reed, as being somebody that's come and helped us out, this is a picture of Reed. I believe this is at a doctor's office and Reed uh, received some news this day that he actually has a type of cancer. And I could tell you about that cancer, but this story is really not about the cancer that Reed was told that he has. It's about his journey. He's gonna, um, he's gonna go through some treatments and he's going to get better. And so one of the things that we wanted to do is to show Reed uh, support because as he goes and he does what he does to get better, um, we, we want to give back to him because he's given to our campus in so many different ways and to LES. And so you're going to hear from your teacher probably a little bit of information about a readathon. And if you don't hear uh, a whole lot about that, you're going to hear this from me today. Uh, we're going to do a readathon for Reed. Maybe just because his name is Reed and we decided to uh, use that as a, another good reason to read here at school. But at San Jacinto, we are all about reading. And so we thought, what better way to show our support? This is something that we could do. We could read and we're going to have a read-a-thon. So your teacher might give you a packet today. It looks kind of like this. It has some pictures of Reed on it. And it has some information on the front that tells you a little bit about Reed and why Reed is important to us. And when you're in this, this packet, I don't want you to open it up until you get home, but I want you to show this packet to your parents to give that to them. Um, because all you have to do in this, this uh, readathon is you need to be able to read books. But you also 
uh, there's some things that you'll do to where you can get some support from maybe some family and friends. And so there's some packets, uh, some information in here, and your parents can read this. And even if you can't read what all's in here, your parents can, and they can help you out with this to understand what we're trying to do here at St. Jacinto Elementary School. And so I want to encourage you, take this home today when you get this, give this to your parents, and start selecting some books. And I want to give you some, some rules to our readathon. Um, because in a readathon, we're going to do something. We're going to do our best to to be our best. If uh, if if we were if if we were uh, to do our best for Reed, I know that that'll make him feel better, and it also can help him out, help his family out, and it lets them know that there are people here that care about him. Because here at San Jacinto Elementary School this year, our theme was that you matter. And so we want to tell Reed that he matters to us. Not only was it great to have Reed come here and dress up like Spider-Man and open car doors and to come show us support when he's a high school student and he has a busy schedule of his own, it's important for us to let him know that he matters. He made a difference to us on our campus. And so when we read these books, we're going to ask that you find sponsors and your parents can help you understand what a sponsor is. And a sponsor is somebody that will pledge a certain amount of money for each book that you read or just if you will will do reading they may make a donation and so let me give you some rules so you understand what you need to do this is this is where it gets exciting because you guys already you need to be reading anyway and you might be assigned some homework uh, about reading and so here's what we're going to ask you to do you can read um, read books from school you can read books that you have at home you can read books that you get at the public library you can read to your pet, um, but you have to read outside of school. This has to be reading that's done on your own time at home. So you can read before school and you can read after school, but if you're reading during school, uh, you can't count that time. You'll do plenty of reading here, but you'll do reading at, at home. So you can read to a pet. You can read to other people. You can read to your parents. You can read to your aunts, uncles, grandparents, you name it. You can read to a friend. Um, if it happens to be someone who is participating in the readathon, like if it's one of your classmates and y'all are uh, you live down the street from each other, if y'all are reading to each other, it can count for both of y'all. And so, if your teacher assigns you homework and says that they need you to read a book, well, you can do that homework at home, and you can count that not just as getting homework done, but you can count it as reading a book for our readathon. Any reading that was done prior to getting that packet, getting this packet home today, that, that will not count. And any, any reading that you do at, at school, that doesn't count either. And I think I already told you that. And so also you can, um, um, even at night, if your parents give you permission to right before you go to bed, if you want to read with a flashlight while you're, you're getting ready for bed, you can, you can count that time as well. And so you get in these, this packet, you have some forms, and one of them is your sponsorship form. And so you can get names of people, and they can read this information, and they will put what they're pledging, how much money that's for. And as you start to get pledges for this, we also want you to know that um, as you get pledges and you raise money for Reed, that uh, we want to give you guys a reward too. So not only do you get the benefit of helping someone out and the benefit of learning because you're reading, um, you're also going to get the benefit of, of some prizes that you can earn. And so for the if you raise $20, um, we, when you turn in all your, uh, your money and your, your paperwork in this envelope that you get, this envelope right here, when you return it to us, if you've raised $20 and, uh, that's turned in in that envelope, then we will give you 20 Panther bucks to spend in our Panther bucks store. And then if you raise $40, You'll get those same 20 Panther bucks, but you will then get an additional popcorn party that you'll get to join us in. If you raise $80 or more, you'll get the 20 Panther bucks. You'll get to participate in our popcorn party, and then you're going to have what's called a principal meal deal. And so we're still working on what that is, but you're going to get to eat a meal with the principal. It'll be during a school day. It'll probably be in, in place of a lunchtime. 
And we're not sure if that'll be here at school, if it'll be away from school. Um, it could be that that meal deal becomes a pizza party. Um, it could be, it could be, you never know. We're still working out what that'll be, but I'm, and it will be something special just for you guys. And I can't wait to see who gets to come eat lunch with Mr. Connolly. Uh, Miss Goodwin will probably get to join us as well, and uh, we'll just have a good time. But the most important thing is that we focus on Reed. Um, you know, when Reed gets news, I'm showing you this picture. This is a picture of his family. And uh, when Reed got this news, it wasn't just Reed's news. It was his family's news. And, you know, we want to be people that bring uh, the Williams family some good news. And so I appreciate you guys for taking the time to listen to this. If you have any questions about what else could be done with the Readathon, or if you have ideas of, of uh, how you want to help out with Reed, um, please take this time to talk with your teacher. Your teacher can write down some notes. We can always come back and visit with you again with some more answers about this. In the meantime, um, I want to let you all know, not just read matters to us, but you all matter. You all make a difference. And in this situation, you are the, the ones that will make a difference here. And so I want to thank you for taking a moment to listen to me talk about Reed and his family and, uh, and his situation. But I also want to thank you in advance for all the help that you're going to provide uh, on behalf of Reed. And so thank you and have an awesome day.